It's the testimony everyone wanted to hear, but few expected. Today, the suspect accused of killing a UT student in 2016 on campus took the stand. The judge will not allow us to play audio from the courtroom, but KXN's Alyssa Gord is there live to give us a little bit of the play-by-play -play this afternoon. Alyssa? Sydney and Robert, legal experts who we talked to in our coverage before the trial even happened, told us that it was highly unlikely that Kreiner would testify in his own defense. But he was adamant today he wanted to testify, and he wanted to share his story with the jury. He understood also what the consequences of testifying would be. He was laughing and friendly with the prosecution while he was on the stand, openly telling the state's attorneys he was trying to size them up. Kreiner was born in Dallas and lived his whole life in the foster care system suffering neglect and abuse. He walked away from foster care saying he couldn't wait until he aged out from CPS. He literally started walking to Austin. He admitted staying in a UT Stadium storage room there and leaving when he was asked to by authorities. He said he left the ropes and hammer that we saw in photos of the storage room there. He also admitted to staying after that in the medical arts building near campus. Several people actually helped him move his possessions in there. Kreiner outright denies killing Weiser, saying he won't do anything aggressive. It's against his morals. He also said his red bike, the boot, and the laptop, which prosecutors all say connected him to the murder, all came from a trash bag he found the day after the murder happened. And now Kreiner has a severe speech impediment. That's something we've heard about in the trial and could actually hear in person today. So it makes it really tough to hear exactly what his, he's saying. So his attorneys asked jurors to raise their hands if they wanted him to repeat something. He did have to repeat quite a few times for the court reporter today. And he was also asked about his alibi. There's so much more to talk about. We'll go over all of that coming up tonight at 6. Back to you.